in this section we will learn how to create new project files and then we will configure the project file to hold the first important parts of project information microsoft provides multiple ways to create a new project file there are three primary ways in which to create a new project file one creating a project file from scratch two creating from an existing template and three create from an excel workbook in this video we will look at the first option of creating a blank project file and in subsequent lessons we will explore the other ways but this is not an exhaustive list there are more ways in which you can create project files like from a sharepoint task list or an xml file but these methods are used much less frequently and the same techniques that you will learn in the course lessons will be employed elsewhere so you are pretty much covered okay so in this lesson we will be creating a project file from the beginning when you start project this is the first screen that you will see the first option on the right side says blank project and this will give us a clean slate project file and we just need to click it so we have created a blank project file now you will see a message on the status bar a uh, new tasks created in manual mode we will look at that in a later lesson so you can safely ignore it for now but keep in mind that during the life of a project various messages are displayed in the status bar and you will need to keep an eye on it let us understand this screen a little bit the view that you see on the screen now is the most important view on project it's the money maker this view is called the gantt chart view you can see there are three windows top left and right and they are related to each other this is the screen where project scheduling is created and we will revisit this completely in the section dealing with tasks as a best practice one of the first things to do when you create a new project is to configure the basic project information so let us click on the project tab and then on the project information button the project information dialog box opens up there are three key things to notice here the start date box the schedule from box and the calendar one of the key reasons to use microsoft project is because of its auto scheduling feature now this box schedule from is asking us whether we have to set project start date or project finish date should be set as the scheduling default now the first option of using project start date as a scheduling default will be a little obvious but when will we need to schedule from the finish date that is not so obvious this type of reverse scheduling might be useful in situations when you have a hard deadline to finish the project in this case we will set the schedule from box to project start date and you can use this in most cases even when you have hard fixed deadline scheduling from the end date is recommended only when you are much more experienced using projects auto scheduling features finally we will look at the calendar box the project calendar defines the working time for your project which days are working days which hours are considered working time in a typical work day and which days are non working times such as holidays and so on project comes with with a default calendar called as the standard calendar and this is what you see selected by default here the standard calendar has working times set as monday through friday and 8 am to 5 pm with 1 hour for lunch in a future lesson we will see how to customize this for individual projects or individual resources but for now we will just go with the standard calendar and now to click okay and we are done with the basic setup for a project file that has been started from scratch now once this has been done it is ideal to save the project file and to do so 
we first have to enter into backstage by clicking the file tab now because this is the first save even though i click the save button save as is open and here i will save it on my desktop so there uh, we have finished creating a new project from scratch set up the basic information and we have also saved it in the next few lessons we will look at other options of creating new project files